Okay. Hello friends. This is Yusuf here. Welcome to the next part of our learning fully free RPG Lib. So this is our continuation of our uh, based on last video. Okay. So last video uh, we have seen uh, how to convert the fixed form to free form for the header spec and the file spec and some of the declaration. So this video we are going to concentrate on uh, data structures and uh, sub procedures. Okay. So let's quickly go into that and see what we are going to learn in this video. So uh, we want to see how we can create a simple uh, data structure in a uh, free form and we will see uh, some of the features like overlay and position keywords and then we will see uh, how do we convert a nested data structures in a free form okay and also we will see the special use case of star n uh, in data structures in free form okay uh, this is with respect to uh, data structures and then we will try to create a simple uh, sub procedure in free form and uh, we'll try to pass some parameters and we'll, we will try to return some values from the procedure and see how these things will work okay so for the data structures i took this sample so here is the fixed form for the uh, simple uh, nested data structures so uh, we're gonna uh, recreate this in a free form and let's learn okay first try to understand what it is so basically we have a template called contact info underscore t which has like mobile and uh, email Okay, and then we have the student info, which is our main uh, data structure. Uh, we have done with the created as a qualified data structure. Okay, then it is having uh, three things basically. So full name and age and contact info. So here full name is actually the actual name, which we are splitting into two things, which is first name and last name. So here you can see this first name and last name are not two different another no fields. Uh, instead of that, we are telling that it is uh, based on the full name only we are creating these two fields okay that that's why the overlay keyword comes here and we just tell that that these 15 characters actually uh, present in the full name for, for the first 15 and then this is like starting from 16 you need to take the another 15 characters so age is simply a three digit number and then contact info here we declare this as another data structure based on our contact info underscore t okay cool so how do we access this in the program something like student info dot uh, full name you can do basically if you do it uh, then automatically the student info dot first name and last name will have the values on the other words if you assign the values to first name and last name then full name will automatically have the value and then uh, student info dot age student info dot contact info dot mobile and dot email okay so that's the understanding of the data system now let's try to create so i have uh, actually have a folder here okay uh, rpgle and i open that in my vs code okay so here we are going to create a new program test ds onerpgle so since i'm using the extension ibm i right so i will get some colors so first part uh, is star free and then uh, we'll start coding so here based basically we're going to code this one right so first let's create a simple uh, ds so dcl hyphen ds so previously we used dcl hyphen s for declaring a standalone variable now it's going to be a data structure so dcl hyphen ds and the name so name i can take it this one and we say template okay and then we need to end this ds so basically in the fixed form right we, we will not end a data structure okay because uh, the compiler uh, will you know uh, intelligently find that when we are declaring the next you know, declaration with a standalone variable then that's the end of the data structure like that okay but here in free form we have to end the ds like that okay fine so now we need to define the variables so here mobile is a just a variable and it's going to be uh, you know uh, act of 10 okay then we have a uh, email and it's going to be a character of 50 so now so now that this is done so make sure you give semicolons and then we're going to define the actual uh, ds so dcl hyphen ds and we're going to say student info okay and then we say it's initialized and it's also qualified okay and end ds now within this we can uh, have full name uh, which will be basically your character of 30 okay and then we have uh, first name last name i'll come to this later then we have age and it's going to be your packed of three and we have contact info not contact info uh, like ds contact info t okay so now uh, here 
you can do the same thing like uh, overlay of uh, full name right colon one okay but on the other words we can use also use a position keyword okay position of one so what does it mean is uh, this first name uh, we are telling that you can take the value of the first name from the first portion of the data structure itself since the full name is actually the first field of the data structure automatically it will point to the uh, first portion so similarly here you can just say position is 16 so it will start from 16 you can take but we need, also need to tell how much it has to take which is nothing but character of 15 so character of 15 is actually the actual length of that field and we, we are telling to the compiler that take it from the first portion of the data structure itself okay fine so this is the declaration of uh, in the free form now i just take this everything and put it here okay and let's see if this thing works okay so we need to compile this and uh, run it right so further what we're going to do the same thing we'll just save this one this is in test ds pcle and if you go to the thing we have it and i open my filezilla if you refresh this it is there then i'm just going to move it to our pop 400 okay so in pop 400 we have home device rpgle it should take a couple of seconds it's connected it's putting the file done now if you open pop 400 if you go in you have that is this rpgle okay now we need to compile and run this one right so what we're going to do take the path create bind rpg uh, i'm going to say ts just for easy reference and here let's put the path enter so it's done so call qcmd call qtem ts so it's done okay what we have done is <laughs> we assigned the value but we have not uh, displayed it basically okay uh, okay let's do the other way around let's recompile this time let's compile with star list as debug view okay now what we can do strdbg qtem ts call qtem ts f10 so now we are assigning the uh, values and if you go and see the full name okay automatically oh, wait a minute sorry we can do like this we have to do the qualifier right student info dot full name basically you can take this one take a one so student info you have like uh, first name full name last name age yeah basically this thing works okay so this is how you will convert uh, data structure into a free form so now actually in this example we learned uh, how to declare a normal data structure and how to declare a nested data structure okay and also the usage of position keyword okay now let's see what is the usefulness of star n okay for this i'm going to take a simple example which is a commonly used example so assume if you have a date like 2019 uh, 11 uh, 05 today's date okay i want to extract the date month and year say it's in a character form okay you can do it in a date function the different story but uh, assume uh, you have we can also do it with the data feature okay so which means if i go to this one okay here i have a generic date which is a data structure and i say it's qualified and i'm trying to extract the first four is a year and then there will be a hyphen then month there will be a hyphen then day so one of the advantage of data structure is you don't need to declare all the variable names okay if you don't want that particular field you can just ignore it okay some people will uh, say like a constant one constant two something like that or a separator one separator two like that but even if you ignore it anyway if you're not going to use that particular field you don't need to declare it okay so how to use this uh, convert this into a free form fully free form okay what do we declare here so that is the usefulness of this rn okay now let's quickly compile this uh, create this one uh, okay so let's create a new one test ds2 dot rpgle okay star star free simple so dcl hyphen ds you all know and uh, say generic date okay and we say qualified and ds so then uh, we have year which is a character of four and we need month which is a character of two and we need day which is a character of two so now what we're missing is the separators okay for that i don't want to put a variable name so i can put a star n okay 
star n and I can say it's a character of one. So let's copy this one. Okay, so now what we are telling, we are still making the 10 uh, digit or uh, 10 character field as generic date. And if I simply say like uh, generic date is equals to uh, 2019 uh, 0508. Okay, and I say that uh, display year is, I can put generic date dot year. And here is month day. Okay, and finally star INL are equal to star. So now let's save this one and uh, go to FileZilla and uh, refresh this guy and click and drag to here. It will take some time. It's connected. Okay. Done. So let's go to raise founder, come out. FI, we see this one, okay? And what we're gonna do, uh, do the same stuff. So here we say test DS2, let's change it to TS2. Compile, call QCMD, call QTEM TS2. So now you see we got the results like a year. Okay, we didn't <laughs> copy paste mistake. <laughs> Should be year, month and day, whatever. So we got the value, so you got the idea, right? So that's with respect to data section, okay? Now let's jump into the interesting topic, which is the sub procedures. Okay, yeah. So now uh, let's, I'm not going to, I, I already have, um, uh, okay, let's create. Okay, because it will be good if you see the fixed form, then the free form, okay. So let's see test PR1, RPGLE, and uh, this is, yeah, we're gonna use prototypes, okay. So we need to declare a default activation group, star no okay then we'll create one pro procedure okay so test pr okay it's a pr okay then we have to start our free form in free and here i'm just going to say i want to call this test pr okay and star inl are equal to star on. so we are just calling the PR, but we need to create the PR, right? So it will be a P spec, and we'll say test PR, and we say begin. Okay, we are beginning it, and then we'll say it's a end. So inside, basically, if you don't have any parameters, you can just like that start the free form and end free. Okay, and here you want to do whatever you want. So display inside test PR okay so this small program what it does is it declares a procedure and it calls the procedure and we also have the declare uh, definition inside the uh, same program okay so if you compile and run it file 14f4tp1 uh, qtemp it's done so call qtemp tp1 so basically it displays the test in CTS PR, okay? Now let's quickly convert this into the free form, okay? We'll go step by step, okay? Fine, so let's go to VS Code and create a new program, test pr onerpgle okay? Star star free and CTL option default activation group star no. And uh, we need to define now this portion, okay? So, which is DCL hyphen PR. Okay, we're declaring a procedure and then uh, test PR, which is the name. And since we have only, we don't have anything, right? We can simply say end PR here itself. Okay, fine. After that, uh, we have to code it, which is we are calling the test PR as a function and star INLR equal to star on. Okay, now we need to create that particular procedure, right? So, that is the P spec. So, DCL hyphen PR. PR okay, okay, and it has to end with end PR okay. End PR okay is for the end, okay. Inside, we can just say display uh, inside proc, okay. So that, that's a uh, conversion. So basically, uh, we are declaring this statement uh, as DCL PR, but this procedure start and end, we are declaring it as DCL proc and end proc, okay. Uh, yeah, so save this one. Is it saved? Okay, why this one is not saved? Okay, save this one. Okay, 
so this pr1 okay let's again do the things uh, filezilla refresh this pr1 move it to this guy okay so we'll see the next things will be interesting but uh, let's start with the simple one uh, i think it's done already okay test pr1 is there okay so let we need to compile it again okay so here test pr1 so i say tp1 we already have tp1 okay test pr1 okay we got error okay now let's see this is a good thing Oh, okay, fine. So it's a great mistake. So if you see, uh, if you compare clearly, right, what we have done. Um, okay, so here we are trying to create the procedure and end the procedure, and we told the procedure name. But if you come to our thing, we didn't tell the procedure name. Okay, so we tell it's test pr. Okay, so we're declaring a procedure test pr, and we are ending the procedure. Okay, this is how it should run. Uh, simplicity. I'll just go and edit the file directly in the server. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so test PR one. Let's go in and then just say this is actually a test PR. Okay, and then F two, F three, F nine, F nine, F nine. Done. Okay, it's done. So test PR one and QTEM. So call QTEM test PR one. So it displays that inside PR OC, which is correct. Okay, let's now let's get a little 